Hey everybody, it is Friday night. Thank you so much for joining. We, uh, let's just make sure that everything works because apparently there was an Instagram entirely silent video <laughs> last week. Um, hey, Ivana, hey, Michelle. And Coral Rose, so can you hear me on Instagram? And, uh, yeah, okay, and can you hear music? Could you hear that? Yes, okay, good, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> There's nothing worse than doing an entire broadcast and then people are like, yeah, I can hear a thing. Namaste, Rayma. She is our beautiful mantra writer up on the Facebook board. So, wait, what are the no's? Coral Rose, you can't hear me. Namaste, Jen. Hey, Scott and Evelyn. Hello, Erica. Namaste. Can't hear the music. on one second. Thanks, Jen. Okay, so Facebook can hear me and Instagram can't. Yes, can you? McNiff, Jay Ma. All right, Coral Rose, can you hear the music yet? Michelle, you can hear my voice, but can you hear music playing? No music. <laughs> yeah, going back to Facebook. Um, can uh, Instagram hear music yet? Yeah?
video. Jen, am I still frozen on the video? Not frozen. Okay, folks. Do. Okay, Instagram, I am sorry. I have tried everything to make to make the sound come through. So uh, you will not be hearing any of the yeah, I'm sorry. You won't be hearing any of the Ableton Live, but you could always just listen uh, to the harmonium and the voice. Okay. Shukram Bharadaram Vishnu Shashi Varanam Chatur Bhajan Prasan Navadanam Dhyaye Sarva Vigno Pajantaye Om Swarupa Nirupana Hitave Shri Paramakurave Eric Namaste. Om Swarupa Nirupa Nahitave Shri Parama Gurave Nama Shri Parama Gurave Nama Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Deva Maheshwara Guru Sakshat Param Brahma Dasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Dasmai Shri Gurave tuning in. It is Friday night. We are celebrating Shivaratri, which is the new moon uh, that clears the past away. So whatever has happened in the past is the past, and we allow Shiva to come into our hearts and into our being, and just allow those things which have not resolved to dissolve. And so we'll be singing um, Om Namah Shivaya tonight. I apologize to everyone on Instagram. We still have not been able to get the Ableton Live uh, over to you. People are saying that they can't hear the band. So if you need to, to switch over to Facebook to get the full experience, please do. I apologize for the technical difficulty. So uh, the song we're starting out with is uh, Shristi Stiti Varnashanam. 
Shakti Bhute Sanatani. It is part of the the Durga Saptashati um, prayer. And it just says, uh, let's see if I can get it for you. Uh, this is the eternal creation. So this is that which has been created, that which has been sustained and nurtured, and that which has been destroyed. Through all of that cycle of our lives, um, the Shakti remains eternal. Shakti Bhute Sanatani. And then it says, Gunashraye Gunamaye. So that which is dependent on a quality and that which is measured by some kind of quality, Narayani or the goddess, exposes consciousness within all the qualities, all the conditions everything that we are experiencing, as it gets peeled away and pared away, we become more aware and more understanding of clearly why we are here and why our courage has to show up right at this time.
Sheridan, you can hear. Now most of the So just tell me, you can hear my voice? You can't hear the music? understand what's going wrong so um you guys on instagram you'll just have to go over to um facebook coral rose is saying that facebook is working um i've tried my best since last week to to figure out the problem and i can't figure it out so go to um go to facebook y'all thank you All the volumes are up. This, this. It doesn't matter. It, it should. It, it should. Matter. No, because that's the only thing you see. Mm -hmm. I'll see if they get something. So let's start with uh, Ganesh. Yes, okay. Everyone's going to Facebook. Go to Facebook.
so much for tuning in on this Friday night. Love you too. This is the best part of the week, the best part of Friday where we can come, we can join our energies together and feel the essence of love, the essence of being alive right now at the change as everything is switching over. So, you know, we're going into the Aquarian Age and we are seeing over and over again that um, if, if the technology, if the media, if the, the feeds, the platforms, if all of this technology, all of this digital stuff that we also use to feed ourselves, if we don't come to, into a place where we have heartfelt connection, then we won't be able to actualize the Aquarian age. This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Harmony and understanding, peace, loving communication, like that. So what we do in this Friday night program is join our hearts together and we just send it through the network. It looks like a constellation from outer space, meaning our light, as we connect all of the dots throughout the world. Um, we feel each other, so please do bless each other, sign in. Um, say hi, send love bombs to each other, and just allow your heart to expand within this beautiful gathering that happens every week. So uh, it is, uh, we are celebrating the new moon, or also known as Shiratri, or also known as Ash Wednesday. Um, there are beautiful things. Um, happening this week in order to help us to reset into a place of love. And if love doesn't work for you, then it could be consciousness. Or if consciousness doesn't work for you, then it's a feeling that you're not in charge, that there's something larger happening than any one of us. You're not making it fall apart. Um, and it's not your job to put it back together. You, our job together is just to hold each other. It's to hold each other in a place of, of love and peace um, so that we can move through the earthquakes, the shifts. Yeah. So, can I share how I spent Mahashiratri? It is such an incredibly magic time. Um, I chose to do Mantra Japa, which is um, part of what we, part of my practice for a long time, taking simple mantras, counting on my hands or counting on a mala. And um, I did that um, at the beach on that particular night. And for the week um, leading up to Shivaratri, I was with Sri Sri Ravi Shankar uh, and his beautiful program where each of the devotees came through. So they called it one billion 
uh, Om Namah Shivayas. So every 15 minutes a new devotee would come on to the uh, live stream and would chant Om Namah Shivaya in whatever way their heart suited them. And it was beautiful to see each devotee offer so humbly um, this five-syllable magic phrase that allows things to move into a place of dissolution so that they can be recreated again. This is um, Black Shiva. Om, Om, Om Shiva, Om Shiva, Om Shiva, Om Om, Om Shiva, Om Shiva, Om Shiva, Om Shiva, Om Shiva, Om Shiva, 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 
Namor, 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 namor,
so much for joining on this Friday night. I'm going to go a little bit longer because we wasted a bunch of time trying to figure out our um, technology. So maybe Rema on Facebook, can you put up Try and Become Mantra? And uh, anyone on Instagram, uh, if you know Try and Become, it's... Um, it's a mantra for Shiva. So you can put the words up if people want to follow along, and then we're, we will sing Om Namah Shivaya. So same theme, same idea. Trimakam yajamahe sugandhim pushti vardhanam urvaru kamiva bandhanam mrityor mukshyam amritat. So mukshya is when it falls off. Mukshya is the dissolving. And this is talking about a cucumber that's falling off the vine. So it's not a bad thing that it falls off. It's just simply things that have come to completion. You've looked at whatever it is for 14 times or 100 times or you've reviewed it and it's like it is then finally dissolved. It can be released back to the universe.
one, so the two eyes you see the world with, and then the third eye that you see spirit with, Triambaka.
you give up the need to argue the need to be right the need to share the facts the need to focus on violence coercion manipulation what can you give up what will you add love listening May it be so. May it be so. May it be so. It is already happening. celebrating the Shivaratri Ash Wednesday beautiful new moon we'll give you a little English song and then we'll do Lokaha I'm going a little late tonight because we wasted a bunch of time trying to figure out um, how to figure out our sound so uh, this is the way you love me and it says does the moon ask permission? Does the moon ask the sun permission to share the sky? It's like, no. They share, they move around each other, they are part of the same thing. Does the ocean wonder when to bring high tide? It's like, do you wonder if you're doing the right thing? Do you wonder if you woke up in the right world? It's like, we're in it. We're in this tide. And so as the high tide comes, we're just like, yes, whatever happens. And then low tide. So it's going with the uh, energies of Mother Nature as she rebirths herself. And we are on her planet. So we are also rebirthing at this beautiful time. I love the way you love me. I love the way you love me. I love the way you love me. 
Thank you so much for joining. Thanks for your patience on the technology side. So loka are worlds. So you could see it as different social bubbles. You can see it as different strata of life, whether it's plant, animal, human, um, angelic, ET, those kinds of variations. You could see it as different worlds that you go through. So this present world where you're incarnated and other, as the Buddhists say, uh, bardos, that you might go through. Those are also worlds. Um, so you can just see all the different worlds, all the ways that, um, all the experiences that we have to go through, whether in a body or out of a body, and just bless them all. So loka are those worlds, samasta is all, sukino is peace, completion, uh, a feeling of satisfaction, um, yeah, and bhavantu means may it be so. Or, in the words of a famous group, let it be. Bhavantu, let it be, let it be, let it be. Thank you. 
Thank you so much for joining on this Friday night. We begin again. In whatever your path is, we begin again. We bless you. We love you. We wish and send out into our constellation peace, happiness, and a feeling that life is going to uh, redefine itself. Life is going to move forward and move to a higher energy because it has to. That's us being more conscious, more loving, more aware, more in harmony with the planet. So go out there and just beam. Just be whoever you are. You are the right person and your courage is showing up at the right time. So thank you guys so much for all of your chats and thanks. Thanks and praises to the Most High. Namaste. Namaste.